Praise the Lord. Hi, everybody. It's the sister Vanessa of the, of, of the Lord's name is to be praised ministry. Psalms 113 and 3 says, as, as the rising of the sun and the going down the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. God bless you, everybody. Everybody, I thank God for you. If you're a new listener, hi, welcome. Praise God. I welcome everybody. We're going to uh, get into, uh, today we're going to go into St. John chapter 3, verse 1 through 21. Get your Bibles out. Let's read it together. We want the Lord to have his way. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Okay, Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for gathering together as a, as a, on the, uh, on the, on the uh, online. But thank God for fa on Facebook and, and, uh, and uh, YouTube. Thank the Lord for all things and your goodness and mercy. Uh, save the unsaved and have your way, Lord God. Draw us closer to you, Lord God. We thank you for watching us last night. We slumbered and slept. But, but you put a hedge around us with this coronavirus, Lord God. You ain't can complete control. Oh God, draw people to you in this last and evil days. You will only help for the world, for us all. Oh God, we thank you for all things. Look on our leaders and our pastor and pastors and, uh, and their wives and family, Lord God. Bless each and every one that's listening and someone that don't feel well, sick, touch their body. You don't want to heal it. Thing. Lord, we thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Open up our understanding of your word, Lord God. And let the word be applied to my heart that I might not sin against thee. We thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Again. Okay. Um, we're going to go to say John. But you know, Apostle uh, John was the one that wrote five books in the Bible. That was the one that laid on uh, Jesus' breast. At, uh, I think at supper. He was uh, love. He, uh, uh, speak on love. Uh, he, he wrote um, St. Uh, John, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. Those are the epistles and, uh, and Revelation. Praise God. Praise God. So thank the Lord. So then uh, we're going to talk about the subject is called, You Must Be Born Again. And I guess some people might ask, what does that mean to be born again? The new creation in Christ, salvation saved from from you know uh, the ways of sin is death and we were dead spiritually but god you know saved from something serious hell okay and a new nature take on the nature of, of the lord you know because when you're born again you uh we're baptized by god's spirit into the body of christ we're convicted by the holy ghost will uh will uh convict you we're drawn uh to seek the lord uh come uh, it's, we have drawn by the Lord when we attend church or in uh, situations that God has a plan uh, for the grace of God has appeared on man when God offers salvation to you you're drawn to that situation to plan but uh, Nicodemus he was a, a member of the Sanhedrin and he was the a ruler ruling body of the Jews he was very religious and he was a wealthy man he knew the word and so that but the sanhedrin was a a great uh sanhedrin was a court of spiritual leaders in uh the, in israel and it had about 70 men were in it and sadducees and, and pharisees and uh, and uh, and the high priest was there. so that's like 71 people praise the lord but the pharisees they were the one that would do all those elegant prayers and do all their speaking and but that but they were their lives were dirty they were living in sin and they and they would they were stuck with a lot of their traditions, oral traditions and traditions of men. And you know God's word was out. You know of course it was. So the, the, uh, Moses wrote the uh, Mosaic, the, the first five books of the Bible. The law was people know the law, and uh, the Pharisees were adding their spin onto uh, uh, the traditions and the oral word. Praise God! It just caused people and caused them, and they weren't even—they were uh, hypocrites. Praise God! Say one thing and do another, and, and look at themselves as being self-righteous. But it's a way to seem to write into the men, but the way there was a way of death. You know, we had to consult with the Lord. Praise God! But born again, changed from—we were born in sin, shaping iniquity, due to Adam's uh, had uh, sin. Praise God! 
and sin, and death came on all mankind. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. Okay, Pharisees. Okay, okay, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees called Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Praise God. That's who Nicodemus was. He was interested in, in Jesus. And so the same came to Jesus by night. He came by night and said unto Jesus, Rabbi, teacher, we know that thou art a teacher, teacher come from God. You know, he, he thank the Lord. You know how we get to re, how God reveals that to you when you can see that that's the Lord that, that God reveals it to you. But um, okay, the same night he came to Jesus by night and called him Rabbi, which is teacher. Praise God, Hallelujah! And he said, "We know that thou art a man, a teacher, come from God. You had to come from God to to be able to, uh, for no man can do these miracles that thou do it except God be with him. Amen. That's true." Nobody can do those miracles unless God be with them. These just you uh, praise God, Hallelujah. We know that you're a teacher from uh, you know because God reveals that to him that he uh, that, that Jesus was a he's a uh, that thou art a teacher. You came from God, and no man and, and you know Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. They're all one. Praise God. For no man can do these miracles except God be with him. Only God can. To do these miracles praise the lord he got he god knows how to get everybody's attention praise god hallelujah but uh jesus answered and said unto him verily verily i say unto you except a man be born again he cannot see he cannot see the kingdom of god so you you can't see the uh, kingdom of god because you know what's flesh is flesh and what's uh, spirit is spirit you, know, you got to be born again it's like um I mean, because for to see spiritual, this is a spiritual birth. You know, we're born. Okay, I said naturally. Uh, man, uh, you you can't know God in uh, the the old man, the flesh. You can't know God because this is a, the natural man doesn't receive any uh, uh, receive not the things of the spirit of God, for they are foolish unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. So you have to be on the Lord's side, born again. It's a change, partners, and God has fixed the situation where you can, uh, where where God will come in and dwell dwell in you. Praise God, Hallelujah. But the, the natural man, see, Jesus is talking spiritual, and see, Nicodemus, you know, it's just natural. He don't understand, but Jesus is talking to him. It's a spiritual birth, born again. So they say, Jesus let Nicodemus know, except a man be born again. You're born once, your natural birth, which your uh, your uh, your your mother that have this your mother and your mother from your you know from your mother's womb. Praise God, and uh, you cannot see the kingdom of God. You you can't even you can't understand. The Bible says the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. He comes in and dwells with you when we accept Christ in our heart. We take the uh, the, the day the Lord is drawing you, you know, uh, the Holy Ghost has the Holy Ghost is convicting you, proving the world of sin, letting you know how you look like to what you look like to God, and then we have to then it gives us an understanding about the Lord of Jesus, okay. Uh, but it's foolishness. So when you come, when you change over from natural to, to born again, we're gonna cover it more, it might be. We'll be able to in, in uh, baptized by God, spirit and body of Christ. God comes in, and we and, and with newborn babes to do, desire to sin, sin milk of the word that you may grow thereby. We got more to say. I have more to say on this, but uh, but if it's natural man, you try to explain spiritual things, they won't understand. They can't understand it unless they have a, a relationship with the Lord. It seems it's foolishness to them, and they can't understand until they till they uh, repent and and come the way you know the Bible. You, you, if you come in a other way, you're a thief and a robber. You got to come the Lord's way through Jesus. Praise God. Okay, of Nicodemus uh, said unto him, "How can a man be born when he's old?" See, this is natural. He, he Jesus is talking spiritual. And at uh, verse three and uh, uh, chapter three and four, John, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter into the second time into his mother's womb and be born? That's his question. And Jesus' answer is, Verily, verily, 
This is truly, truly, I say unto you, except a man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So you got to be born again, born of the water. This is that physical birth, the first birth we had, uh, you know, in the, in the sack of, uh, uh, yeah, in the sack of a mother in the mother's womb, you know, because when the when the water breaks, the baby is definitely the baby's coming. But uh, this is a natural birth. But except a man be born in this world, he's born, but you're born dead spiritually due to Adam's sin. You know, uh, if God let Adam know that if he if he eat from that tree of good and evil, the tree of knowledge, it, that he was going to die, surely die. I mean, surely mean it's going to happen. Praise the Lord, and it did happen. And all mankind, uh, had, had, they were born all. David said, I was shaping iniquity. I was born in sin and shaping iniquity. All of us are, uh, uh, from Adam on back. Everybody born in sin, shaking in iniquity. Praise God. Praise God. And uh, and Adam, he took the fruit from his wife. But there's no excuse because Adam was not deceived. He knew better. He did it all. He just went on and followed out his wife. And then, and, and, uh, uh and then our, our, then everybody all have all have sinned and come true to the glory of God. And so, uh, except a man be born of the Spirit, the water, that's the first birth, and and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Praise God. This is a fallen world due to Adam's sin, but God has fixed it for us. He made a way for us, opened up a way, laid a foundation. What more can he do? That's the song. Uh, but the new life is in the spirit. How we're back, how when you accept Christ, repent of your sin, as Jesus will come in your heart, and uh, he, your heart changes. I mean, you want to live, the, you want to do what's right. You mean what? You mean to do right? And uh, God will come in and clean us and wash us in his, uh, with His blood of all unrighteousness. You know, He, he shed His blood for the cross for all our sins, but He continued to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But the spiritual birth. Uh, when we uh, come, Romans 10, 8, confess the mouth of the Lord Jesus and believe in the heart of God, raise him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Uh, salvation is offered. This is a newborn, uh, born again. Uh, and of the Spirit, he cannot enter to the kingdom. So he's saying that you must be born again. You know, there's a natural birth and there's a spiritual birth. And it's, it's, your, it's an option if you like to take the spiritual birth. It's born again. Praise God. Be one of uh, citizens of heaven. Praise God. But the natural birth is the first. Is a, is more. It's the old man, the Adamic nature, and uh, your spirit is dead spiritually due to Adam uh, sin. So we, you're dead spiritually. You have no relationship relationship with the Lord. But the second birth, spiritual, uh, born again, accepting, uh, repenting our sin. That's Jesus will come in our heart. He will come in. And your body is not your own, you know. Thing it's the Holy Ghost dwell in it, leaders and guides in all truth. But uh, it's a, a and born again, born. It's just born again from above. I'm gonna read the scripture Romans 10 and I think it's uh, no first or Corinthians. No, I, I don't think so. Okay, for by this I just read this here. First Corinthians 12 and 13. By one Spirit are we all baptized into the body of Christ when we accept Christ. We're baptized into the body of Christ is one body. Whether we be Jew or Gentile, whether we be bound or free, and have been all made to drink in one spirit. So it's only one body. Praise God. Praise God. One spirit. We're baptized into that spirit. Praise God. Jesus is the head of that body. Praise God. Okay, verse 3 and 6. That which is born of flesh is flesh. He's, Jesus is talking to uh, Nicodemus and, and uh Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, you know, we had a question. How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter into the, a second time into his mother's womb and be born? And then uh, John 3 and 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we discussed how the first birth. Praise God. Because they that are in the flesh... You can't you can't please the Lord. Uh -uh. That old nature can't please the Lord because it can't obey uh, God. You know, it, it even has a conflict with the with the Lord. The moment that you accept the Lord, there's a 
there's a conflict with the with the old man and the new man but the more you seek the lord and, and submit to god god will give you strength he keep us from falling praise god and, and you know we that uh that uh old man is is, is, is dead you know what I said? I mean, that's uh, because when Christ was buried, we were buried with him. The old man, the old nature was buried with him when we accept Christ. And then when when Jesus rose, we rose, rose with him in a newness of life. So we have a brand new life in him. It's done spiritually. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's by faith, trusting in the Lord. Praise God. And verse, uh, uh, praise God. And uh, verse 3 and 6, uh, 3 and 7. Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. Don't be surprised. The wind, now he's using this. Jesus, uh, that Jesus told me you got to be born again. He told me spiritually born again. Hallelujah. And uh, Jesus is talking spiritually and Nicodemus is talking natural. Because he's a natural. He's not, he had to have a, he had to be, give your life to the Lord and, and for the Lord, for the, uh, for the Lord to come in, for you be baptized by God's Spirit into the body of Christ. Okay, verse three and eight. And the wind blows where it the wind is blowing where it goes. Back and forth. we don't know where it came from, and you don't know where it's going to stop. Nobody knows. Only God knows. And when I am, but cannot tell where it comes and where it goes. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. God does a, a, a mystery, and we what we do we we can we can't see the working of the. Uh, the spirit uh, in someone's heart but we can see the change of life that, that they God has done and God uh, when they when they give their life to love when they're born again as new babes newborn babes desire to sense their milk of the word thereby praise God God, God does a change just like the wind we don't know where where it goes and when it comes which direction is going and coming but we can see the effects of it we can see the leaves blowing and it's in the, the, the uh, trees uh different things going blowing well that's how it is when the lord comes in the heart and changes and 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 there's you there's a change a brand new creature born again we can see the person's life it's a change uh any man being christ is a new creature old things pass away behold all things become new nicodemus asked answered and said to jesus how can these things be them the spiritual birth jesus said unto him are thou a master of Israel knoweth not these things. Verily, verily, I say unto you, you know, the things of the wind and uh, how to go back and forth. We don't know. We can't tell which way it's going. We can't, even the, the, the new birth. Verily, verily, he spake that we do know and testify that we have seen and we receive not our witness. So, you know, you're not accepting this. You're not accepting what I'm, what I'm saying, the natural things. Uh, 3 and 12. So, if I have told you earthly things, he did say uh, it's earthly things, and you believe not. I'm telling you earthly things about the wind. And how shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things about the spirit? Uh, you must be born again. Spiritual things. Okay. And no man, Jesus said, no man has ascended to heaven. Nobody went on up to heaven. No human above went up to heaven. Praise God. But he that came, Jesus came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven praise he came from heaven it was in the bosom of the father verse 14 i um this is a good this is a really good john 3 and 14 and as moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness that was in numbers 21 4 through the ninth verse this is where the uh children of israel they were in the wilderness this is the second generation the new generation the other generation is dying off the scene and uh marion and and uh and aaron they they died and Moses is still there, and uh, they're that they are uh, they're kind of going through a disappointment because they have to go around the long way uh, to go to the uh, go to the promised land, and so um, they would. Moses had sent some people to talk to the uh, the, the uh, oh goodness, Edomites to see if they could the king of the Edomites if they can just cut through because it's closer to the promised land, but uh, they told him. The, the, he let the Moses know that if they do, they're going to fight those people. So they had to go. And you know, the Edomites were akin to uh, to Jacob. Praise God. Children of Israel and descendants. Uh, I mean, not descendants, but uh, Esau. Um, 
Jacob is, a, is the forefather of the, the uh, Jewish and the Hebrew, and Israelites. And so they had to go around, way around out the way to go to, to, to go to head to the promised land. And people got so discouraged and, and they were just, um, just thinking, talking wrong, talking negative. They started saying evil things about um, Moses. And they said mean things about the Lord. Said mean things about the Lord. Let me just read it for in Numbers 21, 4, and verse 4 through the ninth verse and see if I can just jump in into uh, 21. And okay. Okay. Let's read this right quick. And uh, 21, 4 to the ninth verse. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me see if I can jump right there. Okay. And the people spake against Moses, I mean God, and against Moses. Wherefore have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water. And our soul loath the light bread. So they're saying evil, saying they really have something. It's terrible to talk about the Lord that provided for them. They had to eat manna in the wilderness. And God provided every single day for them, except for the, the day before the Sabbath day. He had a double portion. And they got to the point they spoke bad about, they hate that bread that God provided and also, they, they were saying they were out there to die and stuff like that. But God, uh, they, they were saying what their, their forefathers had said. And they did die out there. But uh, there these people here, but God, they, they upset the Lord. So, I mean, made God mad. So what the Lord did, he sent fiery serpents. These are poisonous serpents into the camp. And, the camp, and they were biting the people. And, and the people were dying big time. And so that, uh, they, they realized they sinned against the Lord. And they went on to Moses and said, we had sinned. And they asked God, they asked Moses to ask God to take away those snakes. But God didn't take away the snakes, but he answered, he answered what they, uh, their petition that they asked uh, Moses to ask God about. He was an intercessor between those people and God. Because Moses spoke to God face to face. And so what happened, God told Moses to make a, 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 a serpent and put him on a pole, a uh, uh, it was, uh, I think, uh, brass, which symbolized judgment. And so all that people had to do was, was look up and realize that they needed some help. They got bit by a snake. I need some help. I, I mean, you know, the snake, I'm in bad shape. You got to realize that you need help from the Lord to get some help. And uh, just look up at the, 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 uh, the snake that's on the pole, the, the brazen snake. That's all you had to do. But some people were probably so hard headed they didn't even want to look at all even though that was a simple way of god that was god's way for them to to be healed but i tell you you can't you got to have faith you got to trust the lord have faith in the lord and those was those that looked up they were healed they were healed praise god so this is speaking let's go back to where it was um uh three uh verse um praise god verse three and fourteen and moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness so this is foreshadowing of christ that was in the, that was in the wilderness, and it symbolized, you know, they had to have faith. They had to realize they needed some help, but with that serpent, they had realized, and then to have faith enough to look up, and then with the other part of the verse, say, even so must Son of Man be lifted up. So Jesus is is going to be lifted up on the cross for our sins. Praise God, uh, suffer and die. He going he he paid the ransom. Praise God and uh, praise God. Got to have faith in Christ, in Him. Praise God. When the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is spiritual on this side. It's for, to, for Jesus to come in your heart. But both of them is, is faith. In the Old Testament, the, all the people had to do was lift up and lift up at the uh, at the, at the um, at the serpent that's on 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 the, who uh, Moses was holding up on the pole, and uh, you had to have faith in the Lord on the cross to save you from your sin. Because we all were on our way uh, to to a burning hell. Went for the grace of God. God offered salvation. Uh, we He died uh, in our place. He was a substitute for us, and He He hung on the cross and carried our sins in His body. Praise God. Verse three and fifteen. And whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish. God had made a way on the cross. Will have eternal life, praise God. And God, the verse three and sixteen, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. I tell you, this is, gave His only begotten Son. How used a, a woman, a young girl that was clean living to love the Lord, and God used her mightily, used her as a vessel for uh, Jesus to be born through. Praise God. 
and that whatsoever believe whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. So if you believe what the Lord has done on the cross for you, and uh, with all your heart, and you know we are saved through grace. Through grace are you saved through faith, and it's not of ourselves. That's any man shall boast. We have none to boast on. Praise God. It's not of works. It's a, it's a faith of what the work what the Lord has done on the cross for our sin. For God so loved, He loved, He did it because He loved us so much. I tell you, uh, what kind of love is this? I, I tell you, unconditional love. While we're yet in our sins, Christ died for the ungodly. Praise God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life, live forever with the Lord. Verse three and seventeen. For God sent not his son in, uh, into the world to condemn. He didn't come here to judge the world, but he's going to come back. He's coming back a second time, and he's going to judge the world. Praise God. And uh, people that hadn't got accepted him, and it's going to be a moment. It's a white throne of judgment. Uh, point. I'm not sure exactly what point time, but it'll be a white throne of judgment. It's for the people that have not accepted the Lord. It's going to be terrible. They'll be cast into uh, hell's fire where the worm dies not. Uh, to the uh, lake of fire. Hell's going to be cast in the lake of fire too. But God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, not to uh, to judge the world, but the world through him might be saved. Thank you. Through Jesus. And be saved. Praise God. Salvation. Saved us from from, uh, from uh, hell. The wage of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Gift is a gift uh, to our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 3 and 18. And he that believeth on him shall not be Condemned because your sins have been judged already, and God had put him in the sins of, uh, He put it in the sea of forget, uh, uh, forgetfulness. Praise God, Hallelujah! But if you don't accept Him, you condemned yourself already. You just, you, because He that had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God, praise the Lord. But you know, once we in, when we in the Lord, when we when Christ come in our heart, there are no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. They live not after the flesh, but after the spirit. A lot of, and the uh, new saints, sometimes you don't know that, you know, some people bring up where you used to be, but you're not. That old person is dead, praise God, who was crucified with Christ. We are, we are, we are no longer, we're, we're new creatures in Christ, praise God. And in Christ's sake, there's no condemnation, there's no condemnation, because he paid off the price for all. Praise of those uh, want to be given the life to the Lord. But once you come in there, once Jesus come in, there's nothing to be condemned about you. Praise God. Jesus paid that price. And verse 3 and 19, and there is, and this is the condemnation. The light, this Jesus came into the world, and men love darkness, brother. They, their, light, their life is exposed, and, it, and everyone's life is exposed before they accept the Christ. You have a decision whether you want to go his way or not. Praise God. Because if some people want to continue their deeds. They love darkness, brother, and like, like to keep doing their thing. Uh, praise God. Do you know that when you're born in sin, your father is the devil and you do whatever he tells you to do, but God has caused, God will break the chain when, of the devil have on you. Praise God. We're no more servants to the enemy anymore. Once Christ comes in your heart, you accept Christ in your heart when you repent. That Jesus will come in your heart. Praise God. And he'll come in and be able to live a sanctified life through him. After you got to walk circumspectly, you, you, you know, you have to want to live right praise god and there was a scripture i'm thinking about how you um okay i just can't think of maybe the lord bring it to me but there is no condemnation say another word about that's over jesus paid the price men love darkness rather than light because the deeds are evil praise god and, and uh verse tw 3 and 20 for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light they don't want you they don't want to be reproved of what the scripture says uh we got things going on we in congress and stuff or some laws are being the past and you know a lot of things that laws were put up way uh, a long time ago in America were based on the uh, Ten Commandments and other laws you know what was right but a lot of laws that are that are not God's laws are being changed and changed uh, their wickedness and changed over from the devil to the, what the devil one but you got to give account of every idle word that you that you do every idle word and praise God but everyone that uh, uh, everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Can't stand holiness and righteousness. Neither come into the light. We don't want to get right. Lest his deep, lest his sin should be. Now, if you want to get right, his seed to be reproved, and God will let you 
see you the way God sees you, where you can where you can get help. You realize that you need help, like them people in the wilderness. They got bit by them, the snakes, and they realize I need some help. I need some help, and I have to have faith. God gives every man a measure of faith. He gives you that faith to, ex uh, if you use it to accept Him. Praise God, praise God. If you want it to, or you can reject Him because they're deeper. You know, you can go deeper and deeper in sin. Praise God. It's the grace of God while. Uh, while well, some people didn't go as far as they did before they accepted Christ, because it's the Lord helped them, put a head around them. Uh, but he, but you know, uh, he did it hard in his neck. And I think it's 31. And you know, I should remember that. But I didn't. Okay, Proverbs 31 and one. And he did. Okay, here it is, right here. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank the Lord. Okay, Proverbs 31. Yeah, 31. I think it was 31 Proverbs. I think I, well, can't, but for sure I knew it. He did, he did harden his heart. I can't think of it. I think it's 31 is another one. But I'm looking anyway for 31 because it might be that 31. Nope, not it. I made mean, a mistake. If you, you harden your heart, you know, you know, you know, God's going to, when, you know, God is so merciful to us. But the Lord, it comes a time, you know, it's a time where mercy runs out. He's mercy. I know mercy and do it forever. But for us individuals, we continue in sin, but grace may abound. No. No, you know, when you give your life to the Lord, you can't continue living wrong. And the people that are continuing living wrong, they, they got to answer to the Lord. You know, you better take heed. The day you hear his voice, heart not your heart is in provocation. Praise God. But you be suddenly those that won't accept him, that God will uh, reprove them and take care of them one day. Without uh, and, and uh, so we better take heed. Praise God. Uh, verse two, three, and twenty-one. But he that do a truth coming to the light, you want to. I want. I, I realize I need help from the Lord, and His deeds may be made manifest for people where there's a change in my life, a brand new creature in Christ, where there's a change in my life. Jesus changed my life born again saved and he come to give us life more abundantly praise the lord god bless you sister vanessa and um, i just uh, appreciate you listening i'll be on next wednesday praise god if you have any kind of questions you can leave me some questions i'm a praise god and my i'll be on on uh, facebook on um, 10 o'clock this uh, this sunday praise god and my pastor will be on at 12 o'clock elder uh, Reginald Bradley of the uh, Gospel True Light Church of God in Christ. He'll be on 12 o'clock on Triana Bradley uh, 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 Facebook. And on Tuesday, and Tuesday, the First Lady teaches prayer and Bible band. Really good class on on that um, on Triana Bradley. God bless you, God, uh, Sister Vanessa. Love you. Bye bye.